Hi guys and welcome to a new edition of Art Life with John and Bogdan. Hi everybody, hope you're having a great week. We've been quite busy, uh, but before we get into it, let me just say that if you like what you see today, if you give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and hit that notification bell. It really does help our channel if you do. So let's see, let's get into it. Hi, I'm John and this is Bogdan. Join us on our journey as we figure out how to earn a living as artists, introduce you to those we meet, and share what we learn along the way. Welcome back. My God, what a week. Good and bad. Good because a lot of production happened, a lot of pieces come together, new pieces. Uh, some of you have seen on social media uh, snippets of it, but will I'll show you everything uh, I've been working on this week lately uh, on the show. Bad. You want to tell them the disaster? Oh gosh, the hard drive. <laughs> Don't you love running small businesses? You know, we're pretty good on, on baking up, except life got a little faster and we forgot to do a little bake up this year. You know, I, I tell you, because our business has changed, we used to have lots and lots of client-based work and we were much better at making sure that was backed up because we, we had a commitment. Now that we're just doing kind of our own work and uh, chronicling our work, our, our artistic creation and, and social media and that kind of marketing, we let that slide a little bit and... Guess what? The hard drive died. Well, it's not dead. There's something going on with one of the hard drives. This this unit that has six in it. Uh, one of them acting weird. And um, long story short, I can't access the information. So I took it to a data recovery. And um, the estimate to recover all that information is about $7,000. And uh, we hope, we hope that the insurance will pick up, the business insurance will pick up some of these costs. But some good things happened. We got the uh, shipment off from Mexico, from Guadalajara. The, uh, the, the pictures that are going to Fain uh, and to uh, Michael Swank at uh, PRPGMX. Mm -hmm. And so those are on their way. We have the tracking number, so hopefully that shipment will go fine. Uh, and uh, let's see, this week uh, I've got a class that I'm going to be teaching with Sandra Derby, one of my collectors at uh, St. Agnes Academy here in Houston. And so I'll be teaching about art and about finding God in art, which is a fascinating topic. Uh, so I'll be doing that. And what else is going on? You made some sales. I made some sales and I want to, uh, uh, I'll show everything uh, later on in this show. Uh, Lydia is my latest collector and she bought two pieces um, uh, about two weeks ago. And uh, over this weekend I was chatting with her about other projects and she uh, checked my website and she fell in love with some other pieces and um, next week or this week when you watch this vlog I'm going to meet with her. Uh, to have a studio visit and um, she'll, she'll take uh, a look of some, uh, a closer look to other pieces as that's, well. That's the way it's supposed to work. That's Thank you, great. Lydia, if you're watching this. Yes. And then other than that, let's see, oh yeah, we're going to go on vacation. Guys, it's, it's, we planned this for a long time. We said, okay, let's go to Guadalajara for fame. It's going to be our vacation. It wasn't. It was full work, work, full work. Uh, then we came here uh, straight hitting the ground running and uh, we're like it's time to to have a break it has to, let's let's escape somewhere so after a lot of researches uh, we decided to go to south padre island here in texas and uh, it's about us all we can do if, if we're going to go we were going to go back to mexico but then we have to get another covid test and then we're going in november to new mexico and have to get another covid test so we were like you know what let's just Let's just go, relax, we're going to the beach, uh, we're going to be there for four days. and uh, I can't wait. We love it down in the valley, the, the valley of Texas anyway, so it'll be nice. Yay!
I have started my big project for the uh, PRPGMX Art Lab. We are in week five, and I have that means only three weeks to finish this painting. So I think I'm going to do the falling flowers uh, in a, on a green back field of hopefully that has some illumination coming through in some sort of vignette. So I'm starting out, I've already uh, put the canvas on the wall, I've done a vignette in black and in a kind of greenish black, uh, thinking that it might lighten it a bit, so it looks more like a, a you know, more of a, a gradient. The, uh, the issue I ran into though immediately is realizing that this is going to get stretched on a canvas, uh, excuse me, on a, on a frame, that I'm going to lose a certain amount of this and I don't know how much. So if I don't put a pretty healthy vignette around here, it's going to, it, it could very possibly disappear after it's stretched on a two inch frame. So this will be the painting. Uh, I'm going to use a green background. Hopefully it, uh, uh, I'm going to put several coats of this, this uh, green to get the right shade that I want. And then I'll start doing the flowers. got my first layer down, my first set of flowers. Uh, each flower will receive three different uh, bits of color to make up uh, the, the entire flower so it has, it has highlights and things like that. And uh, so this is just to give me the layout of how the flowers are going to fall. Uh, so I'll be adding at least three types of flowers. This one, which will be blue, there will be a lighter blue and a white. Uh, on the green background, so uh, one part of one down. Guys, uh, I think I didn't tell you that I can never stay still. Um, it's Monday today and I decided to take a day off. And guess what? I told John, uh, I want a day off, a day when I do nothing. You know, I can't do nothing. To me, if I don't create something, if I don't produce something, either it's a video, either it's a photograph, a drawing, a painting, uh, the day is wasted. Um, I don't know why, I think I just been brought that way, but um, I took advantage of this fabulous fall day and I went around and uh, picked up some wildflowers uh, that I'm going to photograph and add those to that uh, Vellum collection. I call Vellum collection, it's a temporary name, 
just because the photographs are um, off focus and um, they almost uh, have a, a volume feel to them. Some of these uh, uh, photographs I took uh, in this collection last year have been purchased for some of you and you know who you are. And uh, I'm gonna continue um, that idea with new flowers, with new um, wild grasses. Um, let's see what's gonna happen. So uh, join me in this uh, um, journey. Now I need to fight with a cat to leave my flowers alone and move fast as fast as I can because the, the sun is moving uh, pretty quick and I want to catch that uh, sunlight uh, reflecting the uh, multicolor uh, back of the, of the photographs of the frame. Hey guys, the new experimental piece behind me, it's uh, finally completed. It took me about two weeks to, to put it together and uh, it was a you know, labor intense sort of project. I had this idea in my mind, I, I was like, okay, I want to create a, um, a, some sort of abstract um, uh, sunset in this case, but um, I wanna, um, I wanna uh, print it and make it a larger piece than actually is. And at first, I said, okay, I'm going to uh, print uh, the picture in many uh, squares uh, and I will uh, resize them uh, accordingly. But then, uh, and put it on order in a way. But then uh, I, uh, I changed my mind. I said, how about I am going to expand the picture. I'm going to actually print two pictures uh, of the same content and mix up the squares, cut the, cut, cut the, the picture in uh, five inch by five inch squares and then uh, multiply them and uh, uh, expand it in a way. So I work it up in Photoshop to have an, uh, a mock-up, an idea how this is going to look and uh, it looked fantastic. However, when I cut the pieces down to five by five, and I, you know, uh, dumped them on the on the table, they were completely disorganized and unorganized. Uh, and I, I, what I've seen on the table at that point, I liked it. I like that uh, uh, they were not in order. They were randomly scattered, and they created this uh, amazing imagery. And then um, I start playing with this idea and I uh, um, start playing with the squares and I arrange it and rearrange it and reorder them over a period of time. And then I said, okay, it's time to be there. It's time to be mounted. Or mounted on what? And I look on the um, a wooden board um, and I liked it. The only thing is, it was too heavy. That at first I look at by 30 by 30 uh, wooden board, and it was really heavy to to lift. And I said I need something lighter. And I'm going to try my my very first experiment to mount those cotton rug paper squares straight on a canvas. Of course, uh, I looked around the shop and I got a canvas that it was 26 by 24 by 36, I believe. And that I didn't even think at that moment that is an impar is a part number, and my squares are an impar number. So 
they didn't fit correctly. So I went back and I picked another uh, canvas uh, that uh, that is you know uh, 30 by 40 this one, and I had the, the squares fit uh, inside the canvas correctly now. And it took a little work, it took a little uh, time to to apply the the uh, mounting gel and. Uh, I put the pieces together, it looked okay, however there was a missing point and I, I was wondering what is that missing? So I start, I said, okay, it's an experimental piece, so I'm gonna start exploring more. Even if I ruin it, it's still an experimental piece. So I start playing with some acrylic on top of those uh, joints, so uh, when you see here, the joints, I kind of mimic the idea of this landscape from here. Where is it? Here. You know, so there's, there's like an acrylic uh, mimic of a, a landscape. And I think that created a very, very interesting um, pattern in a way. Uh, it it breaked up the, the, the mosaic. And uh, once I finish those blue patterns, then um, I looked at it on and on and I said well it's a sunset but yet I don't see that red sun anywhere so I said what if I add some suns here and there just to make your eyes focus better on, on the squares so uh, guys this is the final piece and I'm really happy with it uh, come and see it, uh, collect it if you like it it's a 30 by 40 piece um, it's a print, it's a mixed media actually, it's, a, it's a, a print on cotton rag papers mounted on this canvas uh, 30 by 40. Uh, yes, I'm, uh, it's available in the, here, in the, here in the studio, uh, 111 in Silver City Studios. Get in touch with me if you want to collect it, I'll be very very honored if you would consider this. It's Friday afternoon here and I'm heading to Lydia to deliver her pictures. Uh, they're finally ready. Both frames arrived and um, they're ready. They're there in the back and I'm gonna try to film all this process uh, of delivery if I can and um, I'll show you everything step by step. Tell me two words, how do you like these pictures? Oh, I love them! They're wonderful! So happy! Thank you, Lydia. I'm very honored to, to be in your home every yeah, day. thank you! Great, everybody! Have a wonderful week, stay creative, and we'll see you again next time. Bye, guys! Bye!